just be uncultural. This is going to be a competitive quarterback room next year. Archie Manning, first number overall for ESPN 300 Cultural Bowl 2023 for high school. And then Quinn Ewers, second for 2022, before reclassifying right to 2021. What do you think about this move overall from both players? Archie Manning was kind of interesting to me. I figured he would have gone to maybe Georgia, maybe Alabama, something like that. But Quinn Ewers, going against him would probably be tough competition. But I think Arch Manning's overall going to be the starter. They might do two quarterback system. I don't really know, but I think Arch Manning has definitely has more of a chance to start. What do you think about this move from both players? And who do you think is going to get the start next year? Sports Illustrated, George Kittle believes the 49ers should have signed Debo Samuel before last year. In hindsight, I would have paid Debo Samuel three quarters of the way through the season. Try to do a contract in season. George Kittle and Debo Samuel's contract situation. I definitely do agree. You're probably at least have to pay him 20, 25 million now just because of how the wide receiver market is right now. It seems like everyone's going for a lot. And I would definitely think he's the top 10 wide receiver right now. Future report. Would this become your favorite team in the West? Damian Lillard and Kevin Durant. That would be an insane team. This would instantly put the Portland Trailblazers in championship contention, in my opinion. I feel like they would have to trade away a lot of picks. I feel like it could be a good move, but overall, if they got a championship, I think it would be worth it, which adding him and Damon together, I think, would give a very good chance. A lot of people wouldn't say, oh, overall defense or anything like that. I feel like it's the main concern when they build a team that would really good offensive players and not that much defense. I feel like the Portland Trailblazers definitely have better defensive players than the Nets did last year. And overall, I think this would be a good situation for both players. And one maybe added ring to Dame's pocket without actually leaving the Portland Trailblazers and moving on. ESPN and ESPN Plus, Buster Onley on Aaron Judge entering the free agency next season. Judge is having a kind of monster season that could check the about every box that Billy Nowhere might have. So the Yankees in one of them, Boston Red Sox and Mets. That would be an insane decision. Who's going to choose? But overall, in my opinion, he's having one of the best seasons he's had in a long time. It hasn't got injured yet. And overall... He's had 27 home runs, and the other Yankees to have like 27 or 30, somewhere around there, was like Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle. He's on a great list overall. Even before July, he has 27, which is very impressive. One of the all-time Yankees. There's a lot of all-time Yankees on that list. And the judge would definitely need to try to be re-signed by the Yankees. I feel like if they don't re-sign him, that's going to be a terrible move looking back on it, and will really change the franchise for a long time. But what do you think about this, and where do you think he should go? Boston, Mets? What do you think about it?